Right, there's one thing that people overlook on uh, on props. Um, it's it's okay getting the balance done, but you have to get the tracking right as well. Now with these, um, these are actually uh, Gemfan um, 5x3 props. Now if you have a look down, probably that way, you can see they're actually bowed. And that one, that side's bowed as well. Here's one that I did before, and you can see the difference. These are a lot flatter than these, and the pitch is better as well. So not only does this actually um, get the pitch right, or you can actually increase the pitch. So if you get some 5x3s, you can actually um, change them to 5x4s. It also makes them a lot flatter. So, what you need is a table leg. Here's one I made earlier. Now this is my very crude um, blade tracker and it also um, increases the pitch to whatever you want to do. I'm going to try and do this with one hand. Right, so when you're um, putting the prop down you get loads of cable ties like this and you, if you do them so as you can just about move them that's fine when you're putting the prop down you need to put it behind where the, the zip part is because if you, you just won't get it down any other way not cleanly anyway it's the only way I've found is you put it right down the edge right so when you've got your your prop in there what you need to do is get the trailing edge in the middle of the pipe and vertical. The leading edge is usually uh, at an angle, it's the trailing edge you want to be more concerned about. So that's like that, vertical. Then what you do is you get your, I've got this soldering iron which I've just taken the end off, um, which I use for many many things. Brilliant piece of kit, just a standard butane soldering iron. And you heat the inside of the pipe along the length of the um, of the prop. Now obviously you can't, don't don't get it too close to the top because otherwise you're going to melt it. You just want to do it, it's, it's basically it's trial and error. And if you heat it up for about between 5 and 10 seconds until you can just about touch um, the pipe. If you don't let the pipe cool down long enough then when you pull it out your, your prop's going to be all stupid angles so you've got to be careful with that. Um, yeah, you pull your pull your, pull your prop out. It's quite simple. It's not these aren't mega tight. You gotta be careful because it's got a logo at the top. So yeah, so it comes out like that, and you get a perfectly tracked prop. And also, the pitch is better. So like I say, the smaller the pipe, um, the bigger the pitch. Simple.